Hi, I'm Doug Young. I'm a contributing editor with Acoustic Guitar, and I'm here today to demonstrate the examples in Acoustic Guitar's 20th anniversary lesson on the Okaki. Okaki's 1969 album Six and Twelve String Guitar was a watershed moment in the history of fingerstyle guitar. His powerful approach and huge sound inspired a generation of guitarists and continues to be influential today. Kaki has a surprisingly diverse set of styles, but it is this driving, uh, syncopated approach that uh, many people associate with him and that continues to be unique to him today. So let's take a look at example one. Uh, Kaki uses an alternating bass in a lot of his pieces, but he introduces a lot of clever twists that disguise the pattern and break up the monotony. Uh, in this example, we want to emphasize every fourth eighth note, uh, which creates, by creating an accent, a little bit of syncopation, uh, propels the sound forward. So I'll play it slowly, and then I'll play it uh, up to speed. So what we're shooting for here is a sound that uh, of the leading, the fourth eighth note leading into the next bass note, like this. Giving the song a more of a bounce than a typical alternating bass. Let's play a little faster uh, and a little more staccato, which should sound a little more like Leo. To sound much more like Leo, it helps to be playing a 12 string guitar, uh, preferably tuned down two steps. So let's take a look at how this example sounds on a low tune 12 string guitar. Example two is in drop D tuning, and it shows another example of uh, a way to disguise an alternating bass. Uh, so in this case, in this example, the bass line is simply back and forth. But I'm going to play some chords over top of that pattern, and those chords are going to be in a syncopated pattern that anticipates the beat. Let's try it slow and then a little faster. And now a little faster. So now uh, let's see how this example sounds on a 12 string. Example three shows another uh, syncopation technique. In this case, the example is straight eighth notes, but every third note is emphasized and also each of the three notes sort of outlines a chord. We'll play it slow and then a little more up to speed. Kaki also likes to take advantage of the low strings on the guitar and also uh, often takes advantage of unisons. So I'm in drop D tuning, uh, which if I think, fret the uh, fifth string at the fifth fret, I get a lot of D notes. And we can take advantage of that to create uh, a huge rumbling line. I'll play it slow and then up to speed. This example works especially well on 12 string with the additional uh, octave strings on all the bass notes. Let's try it out on a 12 string. You can get the sheet music for these examples and read my full article on Leo Kaki either online at AcousticGuitar.com or in the February 2010 issue of Acoustic Guitar. For Acoustic Guitar, I'm Doug Young.